Nice. Penny Lewis. Quarter, nickel, anything. We're doing Thursday night at 7. Anybody got a nickel, quarter, coin? Yes. One coin. Anyway, this poem's already up at, at YouTube from the Occupy, but here it goes. So I'm going to have to watch it later. I did John it. John Turmel. Get my here then. Huh? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. All right. I don't know what's what's the best way for you. Is this it? Oh hey, four minutes. When you were little, did you ever dream of printing cash, filling up your wallet with some money in a flash? Creating money accurately means to have the plates. The stamping of some paper into notes best demonstrates. Or stamping metal into coins. Or blips computerized into your bank account deposits. Checks now authorized. So whether paper, metal, volts of electricity, to have the plates is printing money absolutely free. Now, if you printed it to spend, the others would be whale. They'd call it counterfeiting and they'd send you off to jail. But what if government would let you print it up to lend? with only what you can collect in interest to spend. If you could print and lend a thousand out at 10%, you'd make a hundred interest on printing that you lent. But if you could print up and lend a million out, you'd get an extra hundred thousand dollars for your fee on debt. If government stops using its own plates and comes to you, a billion printed nets a hundred million revenue. With everybody being taxed, to pay you interest of all the scams in history to have the plates is best though never spending only lending riches do await to all who with the plates become loan sharks to the state and though to join the few who thus be profit you might dream wake up to see we're all the victims of this greedy scheme Though governments of old had treasury run money plates, without the interest of middlemen at rip-off rates, most governments today to banking industry have lost control of money plates, so interest is now a cost. To service debt in 99, Canada's request $320 billion taxed for interest. And that's how long I've been telling this poem. We're taxed almost $1,000 each per month month to pay for interest the holders of our plates they give away. So we poppers, we want to get the plates back from the banks and have Treasury create the money for just a printing charge and thanks. The interest we save, the thou a month, should be split up so that each of us should get a now. Oh, the interest we save would be split up, I recommend, for each to get a monthly thousand dollars national dividend. As if you owned a share in the incorporated state, no interest, an income guaranteed for life, no question, no debate. So right now, the private banks are lifting a G note a month out of everybody's wallets. And without changing anything, no tax changes, nothing, all I want to do is take back the power to create money from the private banks, intercept the brakes truck with our taxes to pay them interest, and give it back to ourselves. So will you agree control of money plates by private banks should end with all that interest diverted to your monthly dividend? Awesome. John Turbell. You want the rich man poem? Yeah, thanks Four a lot. minutes. You want it? Yeah. All right, here. Did right. What? Because now it's going to be great learning. Yes. But the rich man quote was written by Robert Service. Uh, anyway, so just go look at my popper videos in YouTube, the popper party, and I've been doing these poems all of them. Yes. It's a rich man poem. Rich man sit back laughing at the poor workers. You want it? Yeah, yeah, give it to us. Okay. Because I have a million bucks, I sit upon my stern and leave my living tranquilly for other folks to earn. For in some procreative way that isn't very clear a million bucks will breed a hundred thousand every year so as I have a healthy hate of economic strife I mean to stand aloof from it the balance of my life and 
and yet with sympathy I see the grimy son of toil and heartily congratulate the teller of the soil. I like the miner in the mine, the sailor on the sea, because up to a hundred grand they sail and mine for me. For me, their toil is taxed and to the annual extent, according to the banker's law, that gets me ten percent. So get yourself a million bucks in any way you can and leave your future welfare to the noble working man. He'll buy you suits of Harris tweed and Airedale on a car, your golf clubs and your morning times, your whiskey and cigar. He'll cozily install you in a cottage by a stream with every modern comfort in a garden that's a dream. Or if your taste be urban, he'll provide you with a flat, secluded from the clamor of the proletariat. With pictures, music, easy chairs, a table of good cheer, a guy can manage nicely on a hundred grand a year. And though around you painful signs of industry you view, why should you work when you can have your money work for you? So I'll get down upon my knees and bless the working man who offers me a life of ease through all my mortal span, whose loins are lean to make me fat, who slaves to keep me free, who dies before his prime to get me round the century, whose wife and children toil and turn until their strength is spent, that I may live in idleness upon my ten percent. And if at times they curse me, why should I feel any blame? For in my place, I know they do the very same. Though they talk of revolution on a Sunday afternoon, just offer them a million bucks and see them change their tune. So I'll enjoy my dividends and live my life with zest. And bless the mighty men who first invented interest. Robert Service wrote that. I adopted it to Canada 10%. That a boy, sir. Great poem, eh? John Turmel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, I right. do those all over the place, you know, they love it. You know? Poetry grabs their attention. I can have them stop for crowds for, you know, I can go to another and another and another and another. Who is that guy? That's John Turmel. He's the king of the poppers. He's the, an engineer. He's the, the uh, uh, professional gambler. He invented the casinos. Time currency. The Unilet system. Local employment trading software. Presented to the United Nations and whatnot. There goes the uh, fantastic owner of Conspiracy Culture who is going to be featured on William Shatner's show tomorrow. That's cool. That's awesome. Everything out there. Oh, the, it's a bad fucking story, but at least we have to find some some people, eh? Like Zach, Zachariah. They got, they got a lot of new people. Smiley there. Zach. Yeah, that was awesome. It was a full house. I, I was happy. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, we didn't feel better to being late. Seat to the front. We yeah. apologize so much for being late. We had something. Basically, yeah, we had to move me. Yeah, okay. His mom, his mother was a very nice lady. Everything is good. Yeah. Yeah. And she makes sure you cover. That lady has another thing coming up too, the Sydney White. That's tomorrow night. So you're coming back in for that tomorrow night? I'd like to. Which one? The 14th? You know what? We should find out.